Hey everyone, welcome back to JLEG 3D. So today we're working on a sand wheel, but it can also be used as like a fan or a duct. Uh, let's just get right into it. So we start off with a circle as usual. Let's make it 30 inches this time. And what we need to do is copy it over because we have that lofted shape. So we're gonna copy it, move it up by 10. We're gonna do the same thing, but this time it's gonna end up as 20 because it's a double copy. So we need to unlock that measurement there and then we need to scale that circle so we can have that oval kind of edge there let's make it 1.1 this time and now we loft it and we have our shape and we can go ahead and start sketching the shapes for the insert so we're just going to do four inches here and then we're going to make a shape that you can basically insert the rim into and it's going to be pretty simple and let's make it like a rectangular thing here let's make it four inches just like the top and then just copy over the sides you could have just also mirrored this but sometimes i like to take the long route just so i can think while i'm working now we offset the circle and then we can just trim those edges that we don't need let's make it an even 1.8 though uh, then trim those edges and we don't trim the center just yet because we need to know where it's gonna be. So let's go ahead and use the pattern tool. Let's unselect the circle and uh, rotate it around 360 degrees. And we will do, let's say 10, um, that looks pretty good. So now we can go back and trim those uh, edges that we no longer need because we're going to extrude that, right? So this is a bit of a manual process, but it's, it's pretty fulfilling either way um but now we can go ahead and just slice it down and we have room for our rim and hub or whatever else you want to put in there and now we can just extrude this after we offset the edge there because we want to make a ring insert so if you have like a seal or something of the sort we go ahead and lower it after we hide the body because we want to subtract it so let's not have any boolean errors by making sure that we have a solid piece although it can work the other way as well but just to prevent issues i like to do it this way let's go ahead and show the body again and now we can subtract from that this thing and just delete it now we probably don't need it um and now we can go ahead and start working on this edge let's draw actually you know what let's go ahead instead of making a straight one let's make that rounded piece just like the uh, guy requested um, so we can do that by sketching a spline instead of a straight line like we were planning to but this makes it more interesting you have a slightly more rounded shape and instead of offsetting this we can just either copy it over or draw another one so in this case I'm just gonna draw it manually uh, just to show you that you can make the same exact spline by doing the same motion twice just a little bit lower but just so you know, you can simply just, you know, use the move copy tool to, you know, bring it lower. Just make sure you press that copy function. Now we press the section view and we slice it off as much as we need here. So we have it 30 millimeters long and we can simply extrude it up through our body. And then let's see, uh, hmm, let's make it 30 maybe. So it's the same as the wheel. And that is way too big. Okay, let's let's go ahead and slice it down to 20 because that's that's way too much. It's like a fan already. Uh, although, like I said, you can use the same process to make a fan. So that's not a bad idea. And then we replace the face. Let's go ahead and choose that bottom and choose the outer side because we're going to use this uh, as a pattern, right? And the one thing about this, uh, as we uh, rotate it here to make it like an angle and then we move it over... Um, one thing to note is if you're going to make a pattern, it's better to put as much detail as you can without ruining the model first so that you don't have to do it a thousand times because like you'll see once we rotate it and I start to fill it all the edges, it's a lot of clicking. But when, when you do it like this one, for example, we have some details that we can edit now. Uh, it's much easier than to do it a, a hundred times. So we have it now ready the way we want it. And now... We can center, actually, uh, when we use the pattern tool, it auto-recenter. So 
let's go ahead and center it now we use the pattern 360 degrees in this case and let's make it 10 just like the inserts and as you can see all the details were, were copied over so you don't have to do that a lot of times let's go ahead and line it up with the uh, inserts actually uh, for for a stronger 3d print we we could line it up with the walls there that would probably be the better way um let's do 20 there we go and uh now that we have those let's make sure our model is good everywhere that we like it and we can go ahead and move on to the next step uh, which would be to just make the seal or the ring cut out on the other side as well and like i said before you can use the cutout instead of a full circle here so we just copy it over and then we can move it or if if you have it at the center then you could have just mirrored it but in this case let's move it over and uh i probably should have stuck it 19.5 let's go ahead and uh lower it by 0.5 there and now we can subtract and let me show you a method that you can use you can subtract from you go to the menu and then you select the body that way you don't have to dig through inside the model because sometimes it's hard to reach so we delete that we don't need it now we have uh, a symmetrical piece there that's the same on both sides now we union the body so that everything's together and now you want to try some details on just the one piece to verify that it's what you want and then you can either undo or keep going so uh, we have 0.5 here i liked it let's just go ahead and make it on all the other ones so like i said it's very important to do as many details as you can on one pattern before you revolve it because as you can see now we have to select every edge to go ahead and fill it that uh, which which is uh, sometimes a bit tedious so as we're doing this um, we're going to make it the same as that one that we did at 0.5 so go ahead and just insert that into the number pad and we're good to go to see this also thinks a bit longer once you're doing it this way but uh, this is basically it now we can just change the color to a uh, tire type and uh, it's pretty good I hope you guys learned something don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any questions don't forget to comment down below and uh, like I said you can use this method for many models and uh, yeah I hope it helps and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.